it's time you gave your thick legs some attention. Regardless of your body shape or your body type, if you're a woman who has thick legs, it is so easy for you to feel very self-conscious and want to hide them behind or underneath your clothes. But not anymore. We are bringing our legs out. We're showing it some attention and we're going to figure out the best ways that we can style our legs to make them look slimmer, elongated, longer and fabulous. Let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is know how to choose the right shoe style. Now, if you choose the right shoes, you're going to create a beautiful, flattering silhouette for your entire body and outfit. So I'm going to start with talking about covered shoes and I'm going to start with flats and then we can go on to heels. When it comes to covered shoes, if you've got thick legs, you need to go for more pointed toe shoes. Or if you really cannot handle pointed toe shoes, I'd say go for almond toe shoes. The reason is this. When the shoes are pointed, it already gives you that elongating effect that you need in the shoes. And this creates an illusion that your legs actually appear longer than they are. I do not go in any way for round toe shoes because I feel that that is the easiest way to make your thick legs look even thicker. Anything that has a sling back or shoes that are backless are visually flattering to the body. The sling back goes right behind your heel or right above your heel, but behind your ankle. And it's done in such a way that it doesn't cut off your legs at the ankle section, but just easily covers the back and just sits beautifully and flatters your thick calves. And let's not forget trainers. For a very long time, I never used to wear trainers. I felt they would make my leg look fat and chunky. And I kind of felt that I, it wouldn't flatter my outfits in the way that I wanted. But I figured out that there are certain trainers that I go for that work beautifully for me. Even though they're not pointed in the front, because it goes below my ankle bones, it creates that illusion of space. And so even though they're trainers, it's still creating that lengthening vertical effect on my legs to make them look nice and slimmer. Now, the fastest way to elongate your thick legs is actually to wear heels. But if you're anything like me, I very rarely go for high heels. But when I want to wear heels, here are the type of heels that I go for. First and foremost, for covered shoes, I go for pointed heels. I don't even go for almond toe heels. There's something about pointies that just look nice on the legs and add an elongating effect. Take a look at these gray heels. I actually have only two of this style of shoes. I like the shoe and it works beautifully because it's pointed. It's got that beautiful bow right in the front. The heels are chunky, but because of the pointed look, it still gives my legs the illusion of looking slimmer than they are. Here's the next thing I would do. Accessorize wisely and strategically. Isn't it funny? When I was doing the research, trying to figure out to get more ideas on things that you can do if you've got thick legs, I was seeing comments like, accessorize, wear a statement necklace on your body to take attention away from your legs. And I was like, no, I don't need to hide my legs. My legs are beautiful. They're thick, they're fat. Who cares? They're beautiful and they deserve to be shown off. The first accessory that I personally use are anklets. I love anklets because they're a piece of jewelry that adorn my legs beautifully. I don't go for tight anklets that hook me right on my ankle. I go for anklets that sit just below my ankles. It almost makes me feel like I'm wearing a necklace for my legs so that the attention goes away from the thickness of my calves to the beauty of the anklet as it sits and adorns my beautiful legs. What I also do is that I can also go for anklets that have an extender that hangs down vertically on the leg. That creates an illusion of length when it comes to your legs. I've got thick calves and so I always try to look for anklets that are above I think 30 centimeters and longer. Anything shorter than that 
will not work for me. If you don't like anklets, something else you can do is look for shoes that have got embellishments on them. If they've got diamantes or if they've got any sort of bow or ruffle, that brings attention to the shoes. Another thing you can do is you can look for shoes that have got like an anklet effect. So if you've got any shoes that have more of an anklet look, it could be like a T-strap um, sandal or shoe, that will give you that adornment around your ankles, not on the ankle, around the ankle in a way that is flattering and beautiful to your legs. Wedges are another great option that you can wear. So for wedges, I like to go for wedges that are lower in the front and higher in the back. Now these are examples of wedges that I like. You can see that the front part is lower and then you've got the heel right at the back. These look so flattering whenever I wear them. If high heels are a no-go area, then go for mid heels that are two to three inches or kitten heels. This is an example of a mid heel shoe. It's about three inches thereabouts. It is so comfortable. It is easy to wear. I can wear this all day without feeling like I'm wearing any heels on. They are much better than wearing higher heels. And you know I'm a sucker for pointies. So these are one of the ways you can wear mid heels that work. Or you can go for kitten heels. This is an example of kitten heels. I've had these shoes for a long time. I wear them a lot. They actually feel like flats. So they're comfortable. They're easy to wear. This is about two inches actually. And it just gives me a little bit of height and a bit of elongation to my legs. So if you can't go for high heels, go for mid heels or kitten heels. They work perfectly. If you enjoyed this video in any way, hit that like button and also let me know in the comments down below. It helps me figure out the content that you find more value from and I'm able to create more and more videos like this. The show some skin. And I'm not just talking about your calves. What about your feet? Toe cleavage is something I love so much. Toe cleavage is when the front part of your shoe is cut so low that parts of your toes are peeking out. So when you go for shoes that have got some type of toe cleavage, it means you're going to be getting longer, thinner looking, slimmer looking feet and calves. Another way you could show some skin is to go for open toe shoes and we have different type of open toe shoes we've got peep toes we've got wedges platforms we've got sandals the beauty of the peep toe is that because it's open in the front it shows the front part of your toes it also shows your skin on this side and that gives kind of the illusion of a longer leg sandals are another great way that you can make your legs look longer with sandals because they are more open they're showing more of your skin and they are given the illusion of length to your legs now because sandals are open toe any style you get will still work for you but this is what i would prefer you go for for example take a look at these sandals i went for these sandals because they are pointed in the front so it gives me that illusion of length they've got some embellishments on them so they're fun looking they're interesting and they just make my legs look longer make me feel more stylish and makes me want to show my legs even more sandals that have got a t-strap also give that vertical illusion to your legs making your legs look slimmer and longer slingback sandals are a great way to go and if you're wearing sandals that have got straps always make sure that these are thin small straps so you want the straps to sit on the ankle not too tight but in a way that it adorns your ankle without making it look chunky also i love shoes or sandals that have got long straps now i know that you might be feeling oh it's going to show how thick my legs are they might but there's something fun about wearing shoes that have got long straps and the best way to tie them is when you tie them vertically and crisscross them like it just creates an illusion of a longer slimmer more elongated leg 
so don't shy away from long straps when it comes to sandals or shoes they're another great way that you can show off your legs and be confident in them now we want to create an optical illusion and that is by choosing the right shoe color the first i would go for are nudes now nudes are going to vary on the color of your skin so a nude for someone who is caucasian is going to be much lighter it's going to be lighter than tan it's probably going to be beigey and it's going to vary depending on your skin undertone and your skin tone but if you're someone who is darker like myself a nude would be like a darker brown it could even be black it's going to be a different color on your skin compared to someone who's caucasian if you're able to find a nude color that goes and complements your skin beautifully it will create an illusion of longer legs if it's too light or if it's too dark it's not going to give you the same effect as getting something that is very close to your skin metallics like gold silver bronze are another way that you can add some lengthening to your legs and to your feet so neutrals like brown black gray white tan work beautifully to create that illusion of longer legs but don't forget that your skin tone is going to kind of inform you on what neutral to go for that will flatter your skin beautifully if you want a video where i talk more about skin tones i'll link it somewhere in the description so that you can find it and watch it to understand your skin tone your skin undertone and what shade of neutral will work greatly with your skin and i have a warm skin undertone if you're wondering let's talk about boots and loafers take for example these maroon loafers you can see that they've got some embellishments on them so they look attractive they look nice they're not sitting too close to my ankle so they still give me a nice lengthening effect without making my legs look stodgy or too thick i love to go for knee length or thigh length boots take for example these black thigh length pointed stiletto boots these are one of the staples in my wardrobe i wear them if i want to wear something short and i don't want to show my legs or if I want to look a bit more stylish, dressed up and comfortable, then I go for these boots. They are comfy, they are easy to wear and because of the stocking effect, they just sit nicely and give my leg a toned, slimmer appearance. I've got a favourite brand that I get my boots from. I'll put the links in the description. If you're in the UK, try them out. No matter how large or thick your calves are, they've got some beautiful collection of boots that work and if you want more clothing styling tips for thick legs then go watch this video next